Gloria Lamb, the AIG Interim Teacher K-5 at Lynn Road Elementary. I have been in education for 12 years and with Wake County Public Schools for three and a half years. This past summer, Ms. Wasik, another teacher at Lynn Road Elementary, and I had the chance to participate in summer STEM. We had the opportunity to immerse with several companies who are making large impacts around our world. One of the first immersions was with Red Hat, where we quickly learned there are certain skills employers look for in potential employees, such as creativity, strong communicators, critical thinkers, and successful collaborators. These are the same life skills that we as educators focus on daily in our classrooms with our students, and we call them the four C's. My name is Stephanie Wasik. I'm a fifth grade teacher at Lynn Road Elementary School. This is my 12th year in education and my seventh year with Wake County Public Schools. I was privileged to get to partner with Ms. Lamb for this summer STEM experience and loved getting to plan and execute a project-based learning unit for my students that really helped them learning come alive and helped them take control of their own learning. We chose to complete a project-based learning unit on force and motion. This aligns with the fifth grade standard 5P1, which says, students will understand force, motion, and the relationship between them. Our overarching question was what and how do forces affect motion of objects? The concepts in this unit, such as inertia, gravity, force, and friction, are part of our everyday lives and ones that the students will continue to interact with for the rest of their lives. Thus, it is very important that they have a strong foundational understanding of these concepts. Along with the four C's, some college and career skills that our students built through this unit were problem solving, data collection, teamwork, hypothesizing, and perseverance. Each day we would present the students with a different challenge and allow them an opportunity to hypothesize, experiment, create, and draw conclusions as they explored new ideas and theories. The culminating project was for students to design a roller coaster through which a marble could successfully roll from beginning to end using all of the elements we had studied. I will now give the students a chance to tell you about the experience in their own words. Hello everybody and welcome back to the science lab and today we have learned about force and motion and one of my favorite activities that we did was we pushed a car against different surfaces and something that I learned that I was very cool is that um, different surfaces have more friction than others. For example, um, sandpaper will have more friction because it is a rough surface, but something like a wooden table would have less because it's a smooth surface. It was my favorite because we were able to experiment the cars and see which one would go further. My favorite experiment that we did was the balloon because when you put the balloon onto a string, the string would be a long distance from the other person. So you could shoot the balloon all the way to the distance that it's supposed to go. And it's really fun because you could blow up the balloon and you could do it multiple times if you wanted to. My favorite project was um, the roller coaster project because I got to work with um, people that I usually wouldn't work with in the classroom, getting to put the roller coaster together piece by piece, and just learning about force and motion in a fun way. Our favorite science experiment on force and motion was measuring the effects on different ramp heights. Our that was our favorite because it was so fun to work in partners and see how much farther we got each time. We had to use critical thinking in our project because say we had a problem and a lot of us did. Maybe the marble didn't go down the ramp or it didn't go it didn't go far enough to get over the loop. We had to use critical thinking and collaboration to help solve the, solve these problems. We would brainstorm ideas to try to solve using our critical thinking to try to solve the problem. And then we would con communicate with each other and pick the best idea. Thank you for watching this video, and goodbye. We hope you enjoyed a glimpse into our PBL unit and summer STEM experience. We would like to thank Wake and Partnership for sponsoring the summer STEM program. 
We would also like to give a shout out to Mr. Shane Berry at Athens Strive High School for collaborating with us and giving our students a wonderful force and motion demonstration. Thank you.